constitutional carry 2022. Indiana is now a constitutional carry state. What does that mean? Well, that means you do not need to have a permit to carry a firearm in Indiana. Sounds simple, right? It's anything but simple because even though the Indiana Constitution says you have the right to bear arms, it is still a crime for certain people to have firearms in Indiana. Here is a list of some of the people who still cannot bear arms, even though Indiana is officially a constitutional carry state. If you've been convicted of a felony, you can't carry a firearm. Sounds simple, right? You either were or you were not, but it's not simple. Some felonies drop to misdemeanors at the end of the case. Some felonies drop to misdemeanors if the judge says so. Some felonies never become felonies at all. But this is a huge gray area. We get calls all the time. Well, I thought that was a misdemeanor. No, a felony is a felony unless it's not. And you need to be responsible for knowing that. People that have been convicted of domestic violence or domestic battery, those folks cannot legally have a firearm. And it doesn't matter if it was just a misdemeanor. But then, if domestic violence, domestic battery, you can apply to have your rights restored, which is a whole different process. Those are the two big categories, but there's even more. Here are some more people who cannot legally carry a firearm, even though Indiana is now a constitutional carry state. People that have been convicted of stalking, people that are fugitive from justice, people that have protective orders for domestic violence or family violence, people that have a pending felony charge. If you've been dishonorably discharged from the military, no handgun for you. If you've been determined to be dangerous under Indiana's red flag law, can't have a firearm. If you're not lawfully in the United States or you've outstayed your lawful status, can't have a firearm. If you've renounced your citizenship, well, can't have a firearm. And that's not even an exhaustive list. And while the police have no problem arresting folks, they made a mistake about whether or not they can possess a firearm. The police have explicitly stated they will not help you verify whether or not you can legally carry a firearm. The Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department has even put on their website, don't call us, we can't verify. They can verify, they choose not to because the, while the police are excellent at arresting people, they're not so good at helping people avoid arrest. So what should you do? It's my opinion, go get a handgun permit. As of the filming of this video, the permit process is free. It starts by going online, the link will be in the description below. The background process, Will definitively tell you if you can or cannot have a firearm and then even better in states that recognize indiana's handgun permit you can go to those states with your indiana handgun permit not all states recognize it though bottom line i'm a huge advocate for freedom of self-defense but i don't want people to catch charges simply because they believe they can carry a handgun even though they legally cannot if you have any questions give me a call 317-632-3642 be safe be careful and always plead the fifth